This is your macroeconomics video on the expanded circular flow model. Earlier we talked about the basic circular flow model. If you remember, there is a green line that represented the money and a red line that represented goods and services. Money throughout the economy is exchanged for goods and services that you want. So all of this starts with consumer spending, where households and individuals spend money on goods and services that they choose to buy. In one of the markets of our circular flow, the market for goods and services, this is a pretty typical supply and demand market where consumers do the buying, they buy the products, goods and services, and the businesses, those could be domestic US-based firms or foreign companies, are the ones selling goods and services, so they are the sellers in that market for goods and services. The other market is the market for factors of production. These are the things that go into making products. And in this market, it's a little bit different. It's the households or consumers who are the ones who are selling. So you sell your land, labor, or capital that you own to the businesses, and the businesses are the buyers. So in this particular market and in the entire circular flow, the amount of spending that can happen in the economy is dependent upon our income. So if income inequality is rising and average consumers are making less money after adjusting for inflation, then that means at some point the amount of spending that they can do will go down and that will hurt businesses. Remember, spending is, is based upon how much income people have, and that is not just income made from wages. People can also make money off of renting properties they own, profits on investments that they have, or interest income that they earn. All money has to be either spent or saved. So if you earn a certain amount of money, let's say a typical consumer, a certain percentage has to go to pay your taxes. That is the government or G portion of gross domestic product. Then consumers can go out and buy goods and services that they want. That is the consumption portion. And if you have any money left over, that can go into private savings. There's lots of different ways that you can save your money. A very typical way is through a savings account at a bank. Um, your savings account at a typical bank does not earn you a whole lot of interest on your saved money, um, but it's, an, it's very easy to get money out. You can go to an ATM or you can even tie your debit card to your uh, savings account if you needed to. You can also um, put savings into financial markets. This is uh, purchased, purchasing stocks and bonds. Um, these are a little bit more risky, but they also could provide you more interest income on your savings if you go there. It is also more difficult to get money out if you had, let's say, an emergency today and you needed money right away. So savings um, or financial spending is not part of GDP. So the amount of money that goes into savings account at banks or to stocks and bonds is not part of GDP because GDP values things that are being purchased or consumption spending. Um, it could also be other forms of spending like government and investment, but it can't be saved money. Here's just a look at the size of the US economy. This is in quarter three of 2019. You can see why here is total GDP. This is in billions. So this is basically $21.5 trillion. And then you have the categories of consumption, investment, government, and net exports. So you can see that as a percentage of GDP, consumption here um, is a decent portion, almost 70% of the US economy. If we do that per capita, which means to divide it by the amount of people in the country, you can also see how much stuff we produce in the United States uh, per person. You can also see here that net exports is negative. Again, we import a lot more than we export. For your first act of learning, you have four situations here. I want you in each of these situations to tell me if this particular purchase is included in gross domestic product for the United States. Um, if so, how much of the money goes to GDP and which category, C, I, G, or NX, and then uh, be prepared to explain your answers.